what's up so guys this might be my favorite video to date because i have a huge unboxing when i mean huge i mean huge we got a lot of books to talk about from whatnot this is the first time i ever have gotten anything from whatnot uh and it's super cool you know just it, the story of how i kind of came across this is pretty funny because i was just chilling in my room and i went to my living room to see what my mom was doing and then i see her on whatnot and I'm just like, oh, you're checking that out? And she's like, yeah. And the next thing we know, you know, we're winning a whole bunch of books and giveaways. And we're getting a bunch of crazy good deals on some books. And uh, we got a lot, you know, to, to come home with. So, yeah, I think we should, uh, we will go over it. We'll talk about where I got it from and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll try to make it quick because we do have a lot of books here. So, yeah. So the first seller that we bought from was Old East. They were selling a whole bunch of books, you know, stuff from the Bronze Age, stuff from uh, the more modern age, and stuff from, you know, that 90s and kind of Copper Age stuff. They were selling a whole bunch of stuff, and they had $2 starts. So, a lot of the stuff we only got for 2 bucks, which is really, really good. So, yeah, let's talk about it. We got Web of Spider-Man 55. Always got to pick up some Spider-Man uh, whenever you're, you're going to your LCS or anywhere. You always got to pick up some nice Spider-Man. Cool cover here. I might give this to my uncle as a gift. I don't know yet, but yeah, awesome cover. We actually got two Dazzlers. We have Dazzler number seven here where she's fighting uh, the Hulk. And we also have this one I really, really wanted. We had Dazzler number 14 where she's fighting uh, She-Hulk right there. Uh, I really want Dazzler number one, that really cool Alex Ross cover. I really, really want that book. Um, and I think these are some good starting points for that kind of Dazzler run that I'm gonna, you know, try to get working on in a bit. So yeah, Dazzler 7 and 14, awesome. We got the New Mutants number 78 here with Hela. My mom picked this one out. She's a big fan of the character Hela. So she got this one and it was a no brainer for her. She loved it. And yeah, that's a cool book to add in my collection. I don't have anything New Mutants. So that's something to bookmark or check off my list, I mean. So yeah, awesome. We got Doctor Strange here, number 35 from volume two awesome awesome right here uh my mom also picked this one out she was a fan of the cover awesome next up we have some guardians of the galaxy here that is number 11 my mom is a huge guardians of the galaxy fan so she saw this and she had to have it so well they had a few guardians of the galaxies i think i actually picked this one out uh, out of the, all the other ones but we definitely had to get something guardians of the galaxy and again i don't have anything guardians of the galaxy so that's something to check off if you know me on this channel you know i am a huge fan of the character Gwenpool so this was a no-brainer to get we have Gwenpool number two right here cover a and yeah I'm glad that we have this I don't actually know this not this might not be cover a because it's not the same artist I don't know if you guys know the covers let me know but this is number two which I'm happy with because I did recently pick up number one so now I have number one and number two which is super awesome uh, gonna be awesome when completing that Gwenpool run I'm trying to do so yeah next up you also know I'm a big Domino fan uh, I will say one thing about Old East is if they asked you about something they were super nice and helpful about it if they had something they'd let you know what they have and they would immediately run it and what I really liked most it was just so sweet they would write down your name and the stuff they like so they're like oh next time we go to the stop we'll, we'll make sure we get this for you so we know to get that because we know that you like it and so she wrote down Domino and she wrote down Gwenpool and she wrote down some other stuff just for me and my mom Which I think is really really awesome. So yeah, definitely go uh, go check out Old East uh, If you're not already following them, go follow them tell you Obito comics sent you uh, but Yeah, we have uh, X-Force number nine here. Awesome. I needed this for my uh, X-Force run. So yeah, Next up, we have two mystiques. We did get two. These are some modern books. So any modern book collectors out there we do have uh mystique number was that 23 uh awesome cover there and this one i saw it i had to have it this cover i think i've seen it before and i absolutely love it it's super nice condition so honestly i might grade it it's definitely 9.8 worthy i don't see anything wrong with it um mystique number 22 so we have 23 and 22 look at that cover that is just amazing you know i'm not one for modern books really but when i see a cool cover like this i have to have it and i'm a big fan of mystique so you know i have to have it. next up we got a little 80s action going on here we have howard the duck number 
32 here. I don't have anything Howard Duck. And he made a small cameo in the recent Guardians of the Galaxy, which is cool. This copy is also a 9.8 worthy book. All these copies, uh, there are some that aren't 9.8s. Um, but a lot of them are a lot of them are, are very nice condition This one is good condition and definitely a gradable copy. I don't know if I'll be submitting it, but very nice condition Next up. This is kind of a weird one and my mom picked this one out She saw this and she loved it. She's a big fan of like weird stuff She likes to get weird stuff that she's never seen before so she picked this one out. We have elongated man number one and one thing that is cool about this is that it's a small series there's only four only four issues in the entire elongated man run so i can complete this run with ease with super like super ease i can probably get the rest on ebay for like maybe seven bucks right it's not going to be too inexpensive so yeah uh two bucks for a number one pretty nice uh, elongated man but you've never seen this one before next up we have some cable here cable number dose awesome cover here uh, i have no idea who any of these characters are besides cable of course so if you are a guy that knows let me know okay so we have another modern book here and the reason i got this one is because there is this game called marvel snap it's kind of a mobile card game uh, with marvel characters you know it's a card game for, with marvel characters and i love it a lot it's super fun and i play it in my off time so i saw this one and in that game you can get variants for your cards so you can get like a bunch of artworks and a lot of times the artwork for your those cards are taken from covers or inspired by covers in some way uh, and this one is no different we have avengers academy number 34 part one of the final exams here with hazmat i love this cover to death it is so nice looking uh, a very very gradable copy uh, this one you know i'll probably submit it you know whenever I do my first CGC submission. Um, this might, this probably is gonna go in there because I think this would look insanely good. I'd love to get it signed, weirdly enough, because I think the yellow on yellow would look really, really cool. So yeah, awesome book here. Has on the cover. Yeah. Just realized my collar is messed up. That's uh, embarrassing. But next up we have Captain America three ninety three from the nineties here. Weirdly enough, I didn't have anything captain america before so i did have to pick this up for the collection to kind of represent a little bit i always try to get books of series i don't have anything of so i can kind of fill that out so i can be like oh i have something of this i can work on something else right so we have captain america 329 yeah next we got some more dc we got deathstroke the terminator in a very very high grade this is like 9.9 .9 worthy hey yo this is a nice looking book uh, the, Stroke of the Terminator number three, super nice book, also a very gradable book. Uh, yeah, may send this out. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know if I'll be sending out like non key books, but this is an awesome cover. Let me know what y'all guys think. All right, guys, some of the old heads might get mad at me, but I never have had any Fantastic Four, not one. And like I said, I'm trying to get some new stuff in the collection to kind of fill that out. So we had to get some Fantastic Four here. This is a cool cover here with, uh, of course, all the Fantastic Four as well as Quicksilver. So that's a cool one. That is number 304 from uh, the early 90s or late uh, late 80s, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's a cool cover right there. Had to get the Fantastic Four to represent. Next, what you know about that Shang-Chi though? We got Master of Kung Fu. Uh, right here featuring shang chi this is some bronze age goodness here 35 center a little rougher but that's fine also you know it's still decent for for its time you know bronze age i would say uh, maybe an 80 which is fine you know bronze age uh so yeah super super nice right here definitely need some shang chi in the collection this one we have the 25th anniversary special of marvel age 48 this one is a super cool cover you got the new mutants you got the X-Men, where's X-Men? Right here, X-Men. You have the Avengers, and up here is a team of some sort. I don't really know anyone there. I don't really recognize anyone there besides, I think that's Devil Dinosaur. So, yeah. Uh, if you know who that team is in specific, that kind of top team there, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, so, yeah, super cool book there. All right, this is the last one from Old East, as well as another one that my mom picked out. We have Blue Beetle number six. And his first run with DC. This is yeah his first volume with DC Comics. 
Uh, awesome cover here. Of course, you have Blue Beetle and you also got the question. I think the question is kind of an underrated DC character. He's kind of really cool. I'd like to get some of his own comics uh, if I can find them in the wild, you know. So, yeah, Blue Beetle number six. Actually, I lied. That was not the last one from Old East. I did forget one. And believe it or not, this is another one I didn't have. Even though it's a huge series, I have never had anything Avengers before. Now I do, though. Avengers 312 from the early 90s. Cool cover. You got a lot of characters on it. You got White Vision, Wasp, Scarlet Witch, Falcon, whole bunch of characters on there. So, yeah, this is the actual last one from Old East. Never mind. I forgot another one. And how can I forget this one? So, this was the big boy book I got from Old East. One thing that the Old East does is, which I think is pretty cool, is they have $35 starts on their slabs, which is a very good price. For any slab, getting it like 30 bucks is an amazing price, you know? Uh, because that's how much it is just to send it out, you know? So I picked this up, it was an amazing cover. It's a homage cover to an old book, and uh, it's actually my first CBCS book. Obviously I have some slabs, you can kind of see there in the back, but right here, guys. We have a 9.8 of Harley Quinn number 19 cover homage to Detective Comics number 38, the first appearance of Robin. Awesome cover. Awesome cover. Only got this for 35, which is a great price. Under 40 bucks on a slab. Awesome. 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 Isn't that just a lovely cover here? Yeah, that is just so cool. And I'll let y'all guys decide. Let me know in the comment section down below where you would like to see this slab. If you want to see it maybe up here where the Batman is. Or maybe you take it down some of the pops to put it. Let me know where you want to see it. Okay, so we got some awesome books from Old East as well as a graded book in the 9.8. Which is super cool, right? Super, super cool. And we got everything at an insanely good price. So, that was it for Old East. But we did have another one which was Comic Gains. Which was the first one that we went to. And we got some really 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 cool stuff we had a whole bunch of bronze and silver age books as well as bronze and silver age keys so if you're into that old stuff this time is for you guys stuff we got this for a steal of a deal one thing that uh the games comic games do is they have dollar starts and nobody beat on this so i got this for a dollar it is a bronze age key we do have defend uh in no i'm sorry invaders uh, number 38 here this is a awesome cover and it is the first appearance of lady lotus here don't know too much about the character but it is cool condition is meh on it i would give it a mid grade maybe a seven maybe a six five around that range but it is awesome when displaying colors popping on all day and it's a key for only one dollar a bronze age key for a dollar awesome steal Except we got another Invaders book that my mom loved the cover of this. And I will say there is some sensitive material on this cover. So if you have any kitties in the room with you, maybe, you know, uh, hold their eyes for a little bit. Or maybe turn down the volume or skip a little bit. Uh, but if not, here we go. We do have uh, the Invaders number 31 here. We have Cat, uh, Captain America fighting a Nazi Frankenstein. Uh, so yeah, it's a cool cover. My mom really want this one. I didn't, I don't remember what we got this book for, but I know it was a good price. So yeah. All right, guys, next one here. This is a big book. In my opinion, this is the best book of the video of the haul. And it is super cool from 1964. Nice platinum size key here. We have Doom Patrol number 86 here. This is the first Doom Patrol in its own title. And this is also the first appearance of the Brotherhood of Evil, which includes the uh, first appearance of the main villain of the Doom Patrol. And it was also the main villain in the Doom Patrol TV show, Mr. Nobody. So that is super cool here. The oldest book in my collection and probably the most valuable in my collection. I've seen this go for hundreds of bucks at a low grade. The main issue with this book is right here. There is a huge tear, but honestly, I don't even care. It's so cool. Big tear there that's going all the way on the book. And there's a little bit of like smoke damage over here. A little hard to see, but yeah, I don't care. This is an amazing book. This is a nice book. It will be going on the wall behind me. This is awesome. This is super awesome. We got another little DC key goodness right here. Uh, decent little copy here, I would say. Um, we have Detective Comics number 356 right here. This is the first appearance and origin of the Outsider. This guy right here, 
who is later revealed in the issue to actually be Alfred. So nice little key right there, 12 cent cover, 1960 something, <laughs> 60, 67, 66, I think, something like that. So that is really, really cool. Some nice first appearance there. Yeah, this one is another one we got for dirt cheap, especially for being a Silver Age book. We got this for $2, only $2. Uh, and it is Creeper number two. Super cool cover here with all these faces. The main thing is, you know, there's some all uh, a white line here and it's kind of beat I will be honest, but it is awesome for two bucks You can't beat two bucks on a Silver Age book. You really can't you, you really really can't uh, There's a 45 back here. I don't know what that means. But anyway uh, Yeah, two bucks on this issue number two of the creeper um, Yeah, super cool book here one thing that uh, the comic same people did is whenever you purchased a book over a certain amount of money, you did get a free book to accompany it with it, and you also got some giveaways and some bonus books that they threw in just for the heck of it. So yeah, we're, let's go over that right now. We have Action Comics 604 here with a uh, wild dog on the cover, cool cover there. We have Silver Surfer 84. Awesome, I don't have anything Silver Surfer, so that's now something. We got some more Silver Surfer. Let me get the, the thing off of it. Silver Surfer 87, that's cool. We have uh, Justice League of America number, what is that? 75, right there. I do have a bunch of Justice League books, so that's cool. We have Superman number, no, this is Action Comics number 691. There's actually two copies in it. So, front back. I might give this to my buddy. I don't know. The second copy I might give to my buddy. If not, I don't know. I might give it away to you guys. Who's, who knows? That's a cool one. Um, this is a cool one. This is a bonus that we didn't even know about until we opened this package. We have What If Number 4 featuring the Invaders. I guess they knew from the two Invaders books that we got that we were uh, Invaders fans. And this one is super cool. I'm a fan. I'm really happy that they included this for free. Um, we have some Silver Age Flash here with the Samuroids on it. That's super nice. 160, uh, not, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 181. I almost said 161. This is 181 of some Silver Age Flash. I didn't have anything Flash. So we obviously, uh, that's obviously super cool. And they also ran a giveaway, um, which we actually happened to win, which is The Adventures of Superman number 463. Uh, actually, when I saw this cover, I thought it was Superman 199 which is, of course is the first Superman versus Flash race. And when we won and I saw my mom's uh, handle name come up, I was like literally like jumping for joy, you know? But then later come behind, it's not. It's just an homage cover, which it's still cool, but I, I, I'll be real, I was a little bummed out. We got one more thing of books, and this is actually cool because the night we were doing our little auction hunt, we uh, apparently there was a giveaway party or something like that happening. So we actually ended up getting some free books from the comics game people that were in this, uh, participating in this giveaway thingy. And we got some modern books and some whatnot exclusives, which is cool. So let's talk about it. Also, one thing before I show these books, I do want to say mom is awesome, awesome here. Uh, mom was going through uh, these whatnots with me for a long time and she was having a ton of fun picking out some books. And yeah, so everybody in the and watching this video right now in the comment section say thank you mom say that it would it would mean the world to me and her if you did so uh so yeah let's let's talk about these books here we have wesley snipes's the exiled right here um so that's a cool one exiled number one what not publishing so so what not exclusive we have that and we also have the virgin variant to accompany it which is cool uh, here we have some Ninja Funk. I don't know anything about Ninja Funk. If you guys have read Ninja Funk, let me know if it's good. Uh, but yeah, we have this here. This is actually made of metal. This this cover here. This is made of this super shiny. I don't know how well it's going to cooperate with the ring light, but it's actually made of, of, of metal. Uh, I, well, I was hoping to make a metal sound, but no, trust me, it's made of metal. Uh, so we have that, and then we have the regular foil cover here. Also, woo, look at all that rainbow going on. Woo. Yeah, and these are whatnot exclusives, which is super cool. And we got this all for 
free all these books for free which i think is super cool go check out comic gains and you know show, show them some love tell them obito sent you so yeah guys that was the video of one not let me know what y'all guys favorite book in the comment section down below was was it the harley quinn slap was it one of the awesome silver age books was it the one not exclusives let me know in the comment section down below we got some stuff kind of for everybody here a lot of different stuff for a lot of different people so let me know in the comment section down below uh and i do have one thing to say if you ever are in a one not auction and you say the name riff randall bidding on something let that person bid because that is my mother let her get that book okay show my mama some love okay so yeah that's for me guys see ya